Hi guys, as a way of saying thank you to all our subscribers, supporters, followers, and everyone, I'm going to share with you a very important trade secret. How do I animate equations? Let's say I'm making a video on how to solve this linear equation. And I would like to make animation so that in every step, the numbers are moving until we arrive at the correct answer. So how do I do that? I start with the equation itself and I have several slides here. The next step after this given equation is, of course, we want to eliminate these two by subtracting two from both sides. So let's do that. I remove this here because I'm going to subtract two that becomes zero and 11 minus two is at the right side. But I want to create some movement so that when I go from one slide to another, the changes will be seen by the student. So this is how I do that. First, I duplicate this slide. I press Command Shift D. I'm using MacBook. There's also a corresponding command for duplicating slides in other operating system. Then I go back to the original slide. I remove this because this should not be shown in the first slide, but I'm going to duplicate again this equation, command C, so I can duplicate that equation and command D. So I have two equations now here. I'm going to change the color of this second equation so that its color is the same as the background, which is black. Then I put it over the original equation. It's fully covered and I go to this arrange so that I can send that second equation to the back so it's not shown in the slide anymore. And then I go back here, I'm going to put this in place of this original equation. So I'm going to replace that with this one. So I copy and I replace that and I remove this. That way, the second equation is exactly where the first equation was located relative to its location in this slide. Then after that, I go to the second slide, click on transition and select this morph animation. And in here, select by character. Then if I run now the slides, I go to the first slide, go to the slideshow. When I go to the second slide, I just hit next arrow. Notice now that the equation is animated. I continue doing the same thing. I duplicate this, command shift D. I replace this 11 minus two with nine. I make it centered around here. And when you run now the second slide, going to the third slide, notice now that there is this animation. Then the next step here is to divide both sides by three. So how I do that? I duplicate this again, I copy, then highlight. I go to this equation, I want fractional bar. So I selected this one, remove this. I'm going to divide by three both sides. So divide by three, position that here and create some animation. Let's say I want, let's say float in. Then I do the same thing for the right side of the equation. I put this here. Just position it so that it line up. Notice that from the second slide, when I go to the third slide, this is what happens. 11 minus two is equal to nine. And I divide both sides by three. Then I simplify. So I have more space to simplify. This is what I'm going to do. Duplicate this again. Select all these numbers, put it somewhere here. Then delete this one because you are now in the fourth slide that we just duplicated. The result should be X equals three. Then just adjust it, center it. But you want this to appear one at a time. You don't want everything to appear at the same time. So what I'm doing here is first I animate this. I select white uh, from the left and then I'm going to cover this equals three first. I hit command shift four so I can copy part of this background and then I insert that insert picture. This is the one I just created and I am going to cover this part with this black rectangle and then I will animate it, use exit and disappear. So here is now the resulting effect. I divide both sides by three and I simplify. Three X divided by three is X. Nine divided by three is equal to three. Then the next step is just to highlight what is the final answer. Probably I can put a rectangle, select this one like that adjust its thickness and animate it. Animation, I want to use wheel and make it a little faster. So it's one second. Then here's now the result. X is equal to three and this is our final answer. So 
Going back now from the first slide, this is now what we have. And let's say I'm going to teach now this lesson. I would just say, hey everyone, here's our math problem for today. Solve this linear equation for x. The first step to do is we subtract both sides of the equation by 2, applying the subtraction property of equality, and here is the result. Then we simplify 11 minus 2 to get 9. Then, to eliminate 3, we divide both sides by 3, applying the division property of equality. So, divide the left side by 3, divide the right side by 3. And simplifying, 3x divided by 3 is equal to x, 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3, x equals 3 is our final answer. So, that is what is happening behind the scene when I create this animated algebraic equation videos. So again, thank you very much to all our subscribers, followers, and supporters. Please continue inviting your friends to follow and support our channel, our page here at Math Avenue in Facebook, Math Avenue in YouTube channel, and Assistant in German Academy in Facebook. This is Lando Assistant, and thank you, thank you very much.